Hey everybody, Dorian here, and today we're going to continue with the Pottermore sorting, this time for the Ilvermorning sorting. I don't know how to pronounce the actual school's name, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, and it's for the American houses, and I know absolutely nothing about the American houses, because aside from watching Fantastic Beasts, I did not really delve that much into the lore for this new series. I do know there's a Thunderbird one, and that sounds really fucking awesome, so I kind of want that one, but whatever I get placed into is whatever I get placed into, because I don't actually know shit about it. So, let's get started. What is, what's your preference? Plot or explore? Hmm. Uh, explore. Hands down, explore, because I'm fucking adventurous as fuck, yo. Um, whose judgment do you most fear? Nobody's, because I'm a badass bitch. Uh, my own. Getting really reflective there. My friends? Eh. My family's? Yeah, a little bit. Um, the world's? Hmm. History's? Probably histories. The only reason I say maybe histories is, you know, that typical, I wouldn't say typical, but, you know, fear of being forgotten in history. Um, who's judgment? But that's not really judgment. So I'm going to say I'm not really, I don't really fear being judged. You know, like, judge me if you want. I don't really give a shit. Uh, what jinx would you least like to experience? A jinx that meant nothing was funny. A jinx that meant nothing was funny. That would be sad. A jinx that made all food taste like straw. That'd also be terrible. I mean, they're all going to be terrible, right? A jinx that kept you constantly awake. It's basically my life already. A jinx that played music constantly in your head. Get annoying after a while. A jinx that struck you dumb. A jinx that forced you to tell the truth. <laughs> Shit, I don't want to answer this one. I'm gonna say Jinx that forced you to tell you the truth. I'm pretty sure there's a movie, I forget what it is. I feel like it's Jim Carrey. It might not be Jim Carrey, because I might be thinking about Yes Man, but I'm pretty sure there's a movie where the person only can tell the truth and their life gets like destroyed because of it. My beliefs are hard one. Okay. Who who I am. That should be true for everybody. Um, constantly evolving. A little bit. Few but strong. Let's go with few but strong. Think of the question you would most likely, most like answered by a person or an all-knowing being or device. Which of the following most closely resembles the answer you'd like to hear? What's the answer you'd like to hear? Shit. Okay, well, let me think of the question. Uh, <laughs> okay, I got the question. Without a shadow of a doubt, it doesn't really apply. Uh, never. Okay, so I guess it's a, it's a, is this gonna happen kind of question. Very soon, apparently it is. It's like rubbing a magic eight ball. If you were gonna do a magic eight ball and whatever the magic eight ball said was true, what would you want it to say? Okay, um, it is impossible. Definitely not what I wanna hear. Yes. I mean, I will show you everything. I don't wanna see everything. Only if you agree, if you come with me. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, no, I didn't. You are. Go with you are. Uh, I didn't have to read the rest. I should have. I'm sorry. My greatest weakness is nobody's business but mine. <laughs> That's very defensive. What well, makes me me? No. Uh, the source of my greatest strength. Mm, definitely not. No. Something I must change. Definitely something I must change. Yeah. When will I learn to keep my mouth shut? <laughs> If that ain't me, to say no, that is that is also me. To do things on time, I'm getting better about that. The secret, the secret. Oh, uh, okay, no. Um, oh fuck, this is a tough one. To say no, to keep my mouth shut. I say no a lot more than I I blab more than I keep my mouth shut, or than I say no. You can rescue a baby or the only bottle of potion that could save one thousand lives. Which do you save? So they're, they want me to be vague. The baby, the bottle only might save a thousand lives. The bottle, the chance of saving a thousand lives is too important to miss. But the baby will die. The baby will die if you don't choose it. So you could rescue the baby or the only bottle of a potion that could save 
a thousand lives it could also not save a thousand lives and then the baby died but if you saved the baby and then a thousand people died what would feel worse it could be a thousand babies could be a thousand babies that die and you saved one baby this is this is a deep question okay wampus i don't know what the fuck that is is that a cat with a bunch of tails or a cat with a really long tail or is it not a cat at all uh, you've been sort into Wampus. Okay. You know, like, I got Gryffindor. I'm happy with that. Thunderbird would have been cool, but uh, I don't know what this is about, what this house is about. Welcome to House Wampus. Named by Webster Boot after his favorite magical beast, the Wampus, a magical panther-like creature. Cool. That was fast, strong, and almost impossible to kill. Dope. Wampus House is sometimes considered to represent the body of a witch or a wizard. It is also said that Wampus favors warriors. Ha ha! Huzzah. Um, is there anything? Wampus traits. Um, represents the body. Favors warriors. That's all it's, that's all it's going to tell me for that. Tell your friends you join Wampus. Download Wampus wallpaper. Um, seems pretty cool. It doesn't have like a, a letter, a cool letter thing like the Gryffindor one did. All right. Well, that's going to wrap this video up. Uh... Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll catch you all in my next video with some more gestures of my hands with excitement. This is weird.